टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट ब्लैक होल्स द मैंशनिंग ऑफ द ब्लैक होल्स इन कुरान सी कुरान वॉज रिवील्ड फोर्टीन हंड्रेड ईयर्स अगो टू प्रॉफिट मोहम्मद सल्लाम एंड देर आर मैनी साइंटिफिक फैक्ट्स विच वी हैव डिस्कवर्ड जस्ट रिसेंटली विच आर मैंशन इन द कुरान एंड द फेनोमिना विच वी हैव डिस्कवर्ड जस्ट रिसेंटली आर मैंशन फोर्टीन हंड्रेड ईयर्स अगो सो दैट मीन्स दैट दैट कन्फर्म्स द डिवाइनली नेचर ऑफ कुरान so uh, what about black holes see what are black holes black hole they when the stars in the universe uh, at the end of their life that is when they use all their fuel and uh, that is uh, the hydrogen when they use all their fuel they collapse the star they collapse and the massive stars the stars which are very massive they form black holes that is black hole is like the dying of the star it is the end stage of the star so the massive stars they form black holes but less massive stars they rather form the white dwarfs or like neutrino stars so they form they don't form uh, black holes so there are the massive stars they form black holes and black holes they are black why they are black because even the light cannot escape from the gravitational pull of black hole and they are very dense because the uh, the star it collapses and it be- becomes very dense that is the there is so much mass in a very small volume so that is the uh, black holes so first the quran gives this fact about of the dying star quran says in surah mursalat uh, surah number 77 ayat number 8 allah says that for even nujum tumisat that is when the stars they are put out that is when the stars they are extinguished that means that the star when they run out of fuel that is they extinguish themselves that is the fuel they run out so this one fact is mentioned in the quran that star die out and how they die out that is they extinguish that means there is something that is fuel uh, which they are using and it becomes exhausted so this fact is mentioned in the quran further the scientist who describes black hole a non muslim scientist he didn't know anything about the quran he described the black holes as cosmic vacuum cleaner because no matter escapes from them that is they have such a strong uh, gravitational pull that even light cannot escape from it that is why they are black and they have such massive such huge gravitational pull they suck all the uh, uh, material all the matter so they are described as cosmic vacuum cleaner and this is how exactly quran describes about, about the black hole quran says in surah taqweer surah number 81 ayat ayat number uh, 15 and 16 allah says that fala uqsimu bil khunnas allah says that allah says verily i swear by the stars that recede allah swear why because swearing is a big thing so allah swears by the star that recede recede that means that they become veiled after being apparent so that is what black holes because when they die they become black that is even the light cannot escape from it further the quran describe exactly as the cosmic vacuum cleaner it is mentioned that al jawaril kunnas that is that move that run their course and hide themselves the word kunnas that is from kanasa it means to sweep or hide so that is exactly the word derived from the kanasa that is miknasa which means vacuum cleaner in arabic so that word exactly has been described in the quran as kanasa that hide themselves or that are cosmic vacuum cleaner so these are because they suck all the material all the matter and even light cannot escape from it this is how a non muslim scientist described the black holes that is like a cosmic vacuum cleaner so the quran very well mentions about the black holes in the quran it is mentioned 1400 years ago and this means that the quran is of divinely origin and it was revealed this knowledge to prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam 1400 years ago anybody can go and check about these verses and if by uh, neutrality of mind and by unbiasedness if they look upon or ponder and reflect upon the verses i told they will be sh- they will be co- it will be confirmed but one should look with unbiasedness one should not be biased 
he can look into it and ponder over it and this fact will be clear to him that this black holes are mentioned in the quran that is al jawaril kunnas that is i told the kanasa it means to uh, it means to sweep or hide and the word miknasa is derived from this which means a vacuum cleaner also so that means the sweep or hide allah says verily i swear by the receding stars that runs their courses and hide themselves that is the sweep that is the kanasa that is the meaning of the word kanasa that's why allah said in the quran in surah fusilat uh, surah number 41 ayat number 53 allah says sanurihim ayatina fil afaqi wa fi anfusihim hatta yatabayyana lahum annahu alhaq that soon we shall show them our signs in the horizons and into their own selves that until it is clear to them that this it is the truth so if by a free mind if by a neutral mind one ponder upon these verses i told surah takwir surah number 81 ayat number 15 16 and uh, surah mursalat ayat uh, surah number 77 ayat number 8 allah said fa idan nujum tumisat when the stars are put out they are extinguished so allah describes as well that the stars they die and about the black holes also so as i told the stars the massive stars form black holes otherwise they form like white dwarfs uh, neutrino stars so that is the end stage of the star hope this clears and uh, hope this confirms the truth of the quran wama alaina illa al balagh al mubin